Well, we've been hearing about it all week, so tonight the question, where do you stand on the UFO phenomenon? Do you think there's anything to it? Tonight in the final part of his series of reports, R.J. Heim looks at another case close to home. Good evening, R.J. Good evening. It's been interesting. I've, I've uh, gotten more out of this series than I, than I thought I would. Over the past few nights on UFOs, what's out there, we've taken you to out-of-the-way areas of Rhode Island and Long Island in search of answers. Tonight, a case from East Providence and some thoughts on what lies ahead. April 4th, 1992, Catamore Boulevard, East Providence. A shortcut home for a Rhode Island woman on her way back from work. 11.10 uh, p.m. she just gotten off her job second shift and she was heading home. And she just came down the road and there was this dark triangular shaped craft hovering about 15 feet off the ground. And she stopped, looked at it and panicked and just drove underneath a corner of it to get home. Just drifted away. That would just slowly drift. It didn't no sound, zoom, no light. Just slowly just went on its way. Sandy and Alan say the woman does not know if her encounter was a sighting or an abduction experience. This fits the profile of what others who claim experiences say happened to them. Hundreds and hundreds of people in the Providence area uh, have, are having abduction experiences whether they remember consciously many details or not. Um, we don't know what the bottom line purpose of all this is. Why do you think there haven't been mass sightings, one of them landing on the White House lawn? Uh, what you're talking about, a landing on the White House lawn, is a sort of science fiction concept of contact. Where two equal species kind of meet together in an awesome sort of situation. We have come to visit you in peace and with goodwill. Everybody realizes the import and the magnitude uh, of the situation. Uh, in fact, that is not what we see. We don't see contact as science fiction has told us. What we see here primarily is the exploitation, uh, uh, physiological exploitation of one species uh, by another species. Uh, it's not something that we had expected. If indeed the aliens from somewhere out there are visiting us, the question arises, are they friendly visits? The information that I keep getting from the people I'm working with is that they feel they are doing something that is beneficial for the human race as well as beneficial for their civilization. People sitting on the couch right now who would say, hey, it hasn't happened to me. These people are just all crazy. So your conclusions are that it's not just some kind of mass psychosis that's going That's on. That's correct. Well, of course, cra being crazy, mass psychosis, mass hysteria, psychogenic fugue, all of these, all of the psychological explanations were very, very carefully looked at for a long period of time and simply does not account for it. Being crazy, of course, is the very first thing you look for. And uh, that, that has never held water. And then we have people who are perfectly normal who've done psychological testing of every stripe and variety showing no psychosis that would account for these kinds of uh, hallucinations. They're really not doing anything that we humans are not doing to subspecies. So were there rats, maybe? We may be their experiments. Who knows? Whatever it is, uh, we, we don't particularly like it. Uh, my best case scenario would be for these beings, if this is happening, to fold up their tents and steal away in the dark of night, leaving us wondering whether it ever happened or it didn't happen and all that. Uh, I could accept that. Uh, anything else, and I, I don't particularly like it. Now, it's the anything else part that most people don't even want to speculate about. We'll leave that up to you. If you're interested in the UFO phenomena, you can call the Rhode Island chapter of the Mutual UFO Network at 401-885-0366. They have monthly meetings and a newsletter. And that's it. What are, the, what are they talking case. about at the monthly meetings? Uh, sightings or sightings? There share are, experiences? There are regular phone calls that they get of people who say they saw this, they saw that. I'm having memories of something that happened maybe early on. And they're After talking having, to other chapters as well throughout the country, right? right? Every state has a chapter. After having worked on this series, are you a believer? Uh, I have not personally had an experience, but I look at it this way. Every star is a sun. Around every sun revolves planets. Who are we to think that we're the only people on a planet that revolves around a sun who might be going out there somewhere in search of answers to maybe their own problems. Okay, RJ, thank you. Interesting. Oh, really okay. interesting. Thanks, RJ. 
Well, before we say good night, we invite you to listen to a sampling of your own comments from our Talk Back to Ten line. As always, our viewers have a little something to say about just about everything. We enjoy the calls. If we're on track, it helps us to stay there. If we're off track, it helps us to steer Get there. the bus in the right <laughs> direction. We'll see you tonight at 11. Yes, my comment would be to please try to change that music that you have whenever the news comes on.